finally, 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 we are going to launch our our third batch of our DevOps project fellowship program, which is a two months live program where you work on complex production grade project from scratch. Before getting into that, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm a senior DevOps architect working at Level Up Labs. So welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will try. I'll try to explain this DevOps project fellowship program with all the details of what will be there in this fellowship. Right. So coming to this DevOps project fellowship program, it's a two months live program where you will be working on complex industry grade project from scratch. From scratch means from scratch. Okay. So you'll be working from week zero to week twelve. Within week, uh, within twelve weeks, you will be able to build a production grade project. Okay. So that is the main goal of this program. Okay. And what are the benefits you get? Is that so these are some, so some some of the benefits you get. That is that this is a two months live program, right? So you will be interacting with the experts live, and uh, record recordings are also provided. If and so, uh, if you miss any sessions, right? So also one more thing. So if you're gonna complete this project, if you're gonna uh, gain some knowledge uh, from this project, you will be also getting an official work experience certificate. Okay, official work experience certificate or any recommendation letter will be provided. Okay. So, so that can be good for your uh, career, career growth. Okay. If you're a fresher or if you're an experienced engineer, this can boost your profile up to 10x. Right. And also here you will be given with an access of the source code and also documentations and also live explanations. Right. So these will be done by the mentors and experts. I'll be also taking part of this fellowship. And also you will be also uh, given special doubt discussion sessions every week so that you don't miss any doubts. Right. So these are some of the benefits you get from this program and coming to some of the notes. Okay. Some of the things I want to clarify about this fellowship, right? So this is not a program to teach fundamentals. Okay. This is, this is not a program to teach fundamentals, but we will try to teach whatever things are required for the fellowship. Right? So as I said, this is not to teach about fundamentals, but we will try to teach which are advanced stage. Okay. Let's say that if you have some advanced concepts, okay, like multi-region, lot of other sharding or database replication, all those stuff are there, right? So we will try to teach those advanced concepts, but we don't teach what is DevOps, what is this DevSecOps, right? We don't teach those basic concepts, right? So be prepared with that, be prepared with that. And also this program is suitable for every DevOps and Cloud app enthusiast, okay? So if you are working part time, if you are working full time, doesn't matter. This, the fees covers for entire program, right? So it doesn't matter. Uh, you'll be getting a lot of benefits from this fellowship, okay? Right, as I said, this is not the regular course course thing. Okay. This is not a course first thing. Okay. This is a fellowship program where you build things. Okay. From scratch, where you build things from scratch. And let me come into the most interesting part. That is a program details. Okay. As I said, 12 weeks, the program would be right. So, but what uh, for each week, what would we do? What would we do? That is the most interesting part, right? So I planned everything. Okay. We planned everything regarding each and every week. Don't worry about that. So these are the plans for it. So let me try to read it out. Okay. At the first week, that is called as week zero, you can say that. So we will try to understand the project and its requirements. Okay. So as a project, okay. So let, I'll also show you the project architecture first. Okay. So this is a project architecture. Okay. I'll be also giving this link in the description. Just check it out. This is a project architecture, which is very large. I know that this is very large, but this, this takes a lot of time to understand. I know it. Uh, that is why. That is why the first session is that understanding the project and its requirements. So we will try to draw this architecture diagram live in this session. Right. We will try to understand the project requirements. According to that, we will try to make some SRT. We will try to see how it works and we will try to understand the things better. Then we will try to understand this architecture or maybe enhance this architecture or draw this architecture. Right. So this architecture is drawn live in a session uh, in the second batch or first batch. Right. So if you don't want to miss about this interesting stuff, just join this fellowship. Okay. Within a week one, you want to learn a lot of things. Just imagine what you want to learn till week 12. Right. So this is about week zero. Right. In a week one, obviously you will try to set up your Jira and Scrum. Right. You, we will try to uh, set up all the tasks in this Jira Jira portal. Okay. Whatever the task we will be doing in this week up to week two, we'll be setting in that uh, week one. Okay. In the Jira portal, and we will understand how really product managers work, how really product managers or Scrum master interacts with DevOps engineers. Right. With perspective DevOps, you have to understand. Right. Because because as an engineer, as a uh, as an engineer, you have to understand that you have to collaborate with a lot of people. Right. Then you need Jira. Okay, then you need Jira for sure. So that is why we are also teaching how this Jira works and how we can use Jira in a collaborative environment, right? In a collaborative environment. So that is what we gonna do in a week one. Also, we will uh, we'll try to create a lot of tickets, lot of Jira tasks in this uh, week one. Okay, regarding this, we are gonna practice it well, right? In the week one. So this is about the week one. So in the week two. So one of the most important thing is that you have to set up your multiple accounts, right? So in the week two, we will be set uping the multiple environments. We will try to set up the multiple accounts and multiple environments ever heard of multiple environments like dev test prod staging right but those are the fancy words but here we will try to create those environments 
right? So what it takes to create an environment, we will get to know that. Because whenever you create a startup, whenever you create an application, right, you have to go it from scratch, right? So this, this happens like, this happens like we are deploying any startup application from scratch, from week zero to week two. Okay. So in the week two other side, we will try to create multiple accounts, multiple cloud accounts, multiple environments like devs, test, production, right? We will understand what are the scenarios for each development, testing and production environments and why we use them. And we will try to do a lot of advanced stuff like applying service control policies, restricting a lot of resources, right? So we will try to do all those advanced things. Advanced things, don't worry about that. So that is what we're going to do in the week two. And the week three, we will try to set up the infrastructure, right? Infrastructure prerequisites, okay? Right, what is mean by infra? What is the difference between infrastructure and infrastructure prerequisites? If anyone know it, just comment it down. But if I can say what is the difference, right? So there is a difference between infrastructure deployment and infrastructure prerequisites. So before deploying the infrastructure, you're going to do a lot of prerequisite stuff, right? You want to do a lot of prerequisite stuff. We're going to understand that. But if I can say simply, so a lot of uh, you, you want to create your remote backends, Terraform remote backends, you, you will create a lot of uh, log S3 files, lot of things, okay, lot of other things which are needed to deploy the infrastructure that are created in this infrastructure prerequisite section. That is around week three, okay. So in the week four, we will try to, obviously we need a CICD pipeline, right? So we will try to set up our multi-branch and multi-environment CICD setup. I know this can be somewhat, uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat brainstorming if I can say, right? So if I can say that this can be somewhat confusing, Right, I know this can be confusing, but this is completely worth it. We will go from scratch, okay? We will go from scratch. Don't worry about that. You need to just focus on that basics, okay? If you don't understand CICD, what, what can we say? So just focus on that. If you don't know about CICD, just learn the CICD and come to our fellowship, okay? And in the, in the week five, we will try to integrate the DevSecOps tools, okay? Like you have, uh, you have like Sonar Cloud, you have like Sync, a lot of stuff are there in the DevSecOps. We'll try to understand the terminologies, okay? That is the most important rather than tools. I believe that the terminologies and the concepts are the most important than the tools, okay? Because tools are not permanent, but the concepts are permanent, right? So in the week six, we will try to optimize the pipeline. Here is a pipeline, right? In the week four, we designed the pipeline, but we in the week six, we will try to optimize it. So let's say that there's a pipeline running like 20 minutes. We will try to reduce the time to five minutes or four minutes, okay? Four minutes. So in the week seven, we will try to set up the infrastructure. In the week three only, I said, right, there, there would be some infrastructure prerequisites. So here we're gonna deploy the infrastructure using Terraform. So this is a part one of it in the week seven. And in the week eight, we're gonna do it like a part two, I think. Anyway, some something like an error, okay? Yes, part two, okay, All right. So part two. So we're gonna deploy the infrastructure in a part two in the week eight. So in the week nine, obviously we need a Kubernetes cluster, cluster also apart from infrastructure, right? So we're gonna deploy the, uh, we're gonna provision the Kubernetes cluster using Terraform, which is an EKS cluster, okay? Then we will try to deploy our application using Argo CD into the Kubernetes cluster, right? Right. So then we will try to uh, make sure that observability comes into the picture. Okay. We will use a lot of tools like hotel. We will try to use EBBF, a lot of tools. Okay. We will explore the things. Okay. How can we, how, how can we make sure that our platform, our project is hundred percent or 99.99% uptime, right? We will make sure that a lot of stuff will be there in this fellowship. Okay. If you are willing to upskill, okay. Generally I'm saying, okay. So generally what happens in the course market is that in the name of upskilling, you get courses, right? So this is not a course. This is a proper project fellowship program. This is a proper project fellowship program. Uh, and this is the third batch. Also, this is the third batch. This is not a first batch, which we are running. Already there are around uh, more than 100 people. Uh, people joined this fellowship and more than 50 people got jobs, got promotions, promotions. Uh, even five people got remote job, right? Remote job, which they, uh, which they got from Switzerland and UK, right? So that is a scenario. As I believe that projects is directly proportional to your interview performance. Right. If you believe that, just comment it out. Right. Projects are directly proportional to your interview performance. Why I'm saying? Because whenever you get into the interview, what the interviewer will ask. So he will ask about your projects. Right. So if you aren't confident in your projects, if you aren't confident about your projects, what can you say about things? Right. So if you, if you want to do this kind of a project where this kind of a complex architecture is there. Right. So just uh, join this fellowship. Okay. Right. So this, these are the program details. Okay. Right. So and let me come into the uh, most interesting part that is FAQs, which is being asked by students or learners only. Right. Right. The first FAQ is that what is the program's focus? Okay. Right. So the program focuses on providing hands on experience in DevOps and cloud technologies through real world industry projects. So this provides, okay, uh, we don't provide the courses. We provide a fellowship program through, uh, through projects. You want to learn things, okay, not through courses. Right. So that is the main focus of it. So so as I believe that real time experience should be available for all the guys. That is why we are launching this kind of a fellowship programs, right? This is a genuine fellowship program. If you want to join in, I mean, you will be really amazed with the content, with the curriculum, with the, with the things available in this fellowship. Okay. Because 
everything is available at minimal cost okay right this is not like uh, upscale cost also right we are not making like uh, we are not making it very much costly we are very affordable code aff affordable uh, affordable fellowship program right so the second question is that what is the program duration so generally it can last between two to three months even sometimes it can go more according to the student behavior or the learner behavior right so let's say that if a learner want to learn more we can also extend it so that is also possible right so what is a prerequisite for joining the program obviously the basic knowledge of devops and cloud is required so obviously you need to have some basic knowledge at least basic knowledge what is mean by basic knowledge at least you need to know uh at least you need to know about CICD, at least you need to know how DevOps works, right? What is DevOps, right? So at least if you know that, we can help you regarding this fellowship. If you don't know that, that can be hard for us, right? That can be hard for us. If you are very much new, if you are just started the DevOps, if you just started the DevOps course, right? Don't join this fellowship because you will not understand well in this fellowship, right? So yes, at least the basic knowledge of the uh, DevOps and cloud uh, technologies is required. And the fourth thing is that, is this program suitable for part-time and full-time working professionals? Yes, this is completely suitable for part-time and uh, full-time professionals because we run this uh, fellowship on weekends, on weekends, okay, on weekends. And the fifth question is that what kind of projects, okay, will be, we will be working on. As I said, for 12 weeks, we'll be working on 12 different kind of projects, but it is connected to single project, okay? So it is connected to a single project, right? So it is connected to single project, 12 weeks, 12 different projects, but that, that forms are integrated to form a large enterprise project. Right, right. You can you can make it as a divide, uh, you can make it as a division or maybe the multiplication, the same thing comes, okay, right. So you're working on a complex industry grade project. That is the thing, right, that is the truth. Right. The sixth thing is that, sixth question is that, will we have the access to the source code and project materials? Absolutely, yes. Will we have the access to the source code and the live explanations and the read-only access to the accounts, okay, right. Right, so you'll be having complete access to the source code and the documentation. Don't No need to worry about that, right. So, and one more thing is that, uh, one more question is that, the seventh question is that, will we, Will we be working in a teams or individually? Uh, this is kind of a, uh, see, you'll be working individually as well as sometimes you'll be working as a collaborator. But most of the times, okay, you'll be working individually, but we will guide you regarding any doubts or so, right? Most of the times you'll be working individually on the project, but sometimes some collaborative tasks we will try to give. So at that, at that time, we will also collaborate. We will also make you collaborate with a lot of industry experts, a lot of peers, okay, who are available in the fellowship, right? So you will try to network also, right? So, so the eighth question is that, how will the sessions conduct? So as I said before, this, uh, these sessions are conducted virtually online through a Zoom, Zoom meet, okay? Through a Zoom meet, right? So the, the, that is the eighth question. And then coming to the ninth question, will there be a support available if I have a questions or encounter difficulties? Yes, obviously we have a dedicated WhatsApp channels for issue resolution and weekly doubt sessions are also there, right? So to resolve all the things. And the 10th question is that what happens if I'm unable to complete the program within timelines? Obviously, if you can't finish the project, okay? We will help you. Uh, let's say that we are launching batch four. Uh, next two months or so, right? So we will try to give the free access to that batch four, right? If you can't complete the project, right? Within timeline, right? We will give complete free access to the batch four, right? No need to worry about that. So, and one more student asked is that, is this first batch? No, this is not a first batch. Already around uh, two batches has been completed, right? This is not a first batch. Already two batches has been completed successfully. Lot of students, okay? Got promotions, lot of students got jobs, okay? Right, through this program, right? So this is not a first batch. And the 12th question is that, what? What does the program fee cover? Obviously, this is a live program, right? That is why we are keeping some minimal fee for it, right? Right, minimal fee for it. So this covers the entire program, including the materials, the session, and the support, okay? This covers everything. And the 13th question is that, do we, do I need to have any prior experience with this cloud technology? Uh, basic knowledge is generally required. Basic knowledge is generally required, but deep experience is not required, okay? Deep experience is not required. Just a basic knowledge would be enough for it. Basic DevOps knowledge, how it works. If you made any some small projects, that would be fine about the DevOps. So this is about the program. This is about the FAQs, okay? Right, if you like it, okay? If you like the program, because what happens is that if you have a quality project, as I said before, as I said before, your projects, projects, projects is directly proportional to your interview performance, as I said, okay? If you wanna make your interview killed, if you wanna, if you want to get a job with a proper uh, experience certificate, okay? Then join this, okay? Interview performance. So your project is directly proportionality to interview performance, right? As I said before. So if you want to build a complex project with us, okay, right? If you want to spend some time with us, right? Because obviously you have to spend some time. That is not the thing. You have to spend at least like two, two to four hours per week, per week, okay? I'm saying per week, two to four hours. Then join this join this fellowship where you'll be working on, as I said, complex production grade project from scratch. So all the links I'll be placing in the description. Don't worry about that. This and the project fellowship I'll be placing in the chat, chat or maybe the, the description, okay? This is about the thing. Uh, if any doubts, okay, please uh, keep it in the description or maybe the comment section, comment section. So this is about the fellowship program. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it.
Thanks. Bye-bye, guys.